A horrific case of violence and kidnapping it sparked a three-state manhunt. It all unfolded on New Year's Day in Hartford. Police say a woman was stabbed more than 30 times at the hands of her boyfriend while her six-year-old child was in the car with them. Tonight, that man is in custody. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is live now from the Hartford Public Safety Complex with more on a new law that's helping domestic violence victims. Courtney? Well, this new law started January 1st, and according to HPD, officers here have already been leading the way in arresting the person responsible for the abuse. Hartford police say this man, 23-year-old Edgar Maldonado, stabbed his 43-year-old girlfriend more than 30 times on New Year's Day. The argument happened in a car. The woman's family talked to Eyewitness News, saying the fight was over jealousy. But he just kept arguing with her accusing her and trying to take her phone and she didn't want to give him her phone. The woman's six-year-old son was with them in the car. After the stabbing, Maldonado allegedly took off to Worcester, Massachusetts with the boy, then ditched the car and left the child wandering on the street. The family tells us the two were only dating for three months and she tried to leave him. He kept coming around. My mom kept trying to be away from him, but after that, he just kept taking advantage, I guess. According to court records, Maldonado has a history of domestic violence. A new domestic violence law went into effect for the new year. Police departments are now responsible to figure out who the primary aggressor is in a domestic violence case. Lieutenant Paul Cicero with Hartford Police say his officers already do this. Um, so this is nothing new to us. Um, we're happy that it's here, and I think all law enforcement entities are happy with this change. Um, that the primary aggressor is the one that would be the person that would be arrested. The victim is still in the hospital tonight as her family says she went through a six hour surgery. Mom did not deserve what he did to her. For Maldonado, uh, he was caught in New York State this morning and will eventually be brought back here to Connecticut, but no word yet on exactly when that will happen. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight from Hartford. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.